Today's floor ballet will focus on deep stretching and alignment. We will work on maintaining length and posture in the upper body as we stretch the lower body. Let's begin. Lie down on your mat with your legs bent, palms pressing into the mat. Gently tuck your pelvis and release. Tuck again, feel your entire back connect with your mat and release. Tuck again, your torso is long and your core is braced. Hover your arms off the mat right next to your thighs. Maintain your posture. Float your arms up until they're in front of your chest. And now lift up further until your arms are right in front of your earlobes. Let's come back. Move the arms in front of your chest and back down to your thighs. Now circle the arms to the side and make a long oval in front of your earlobes. Now circle back down, your hands are by your thighs and now come back up through center in front of the chest next to the earlobes and let's move back chest now lower the arms back to the thighs circle to the side move the arms back up in front of your face and now circle back down to the thighs lower your palms down to the mat Hug your legs and move them towards your chest. Keep your bottom connected to the mat. Stretch your low back. Now move slightly towards the left. Come through center and move towards the right. Come back to center and lower your feet back down to the mat. Carefully lower your legs to the right. Extend your arms to the side, slightly lower than your shoulders. Stay here. Move the top leg forward, keeping the knee bent and come into a scorpion position. This gives your low back a nice deep stretch. Bend the elbow of your right arm and place your hand underneath your ankle. Now extend your leg and stretch your outer hamstring and calf. Bend your knee again and extend your knee. If this is too hard, keep a bend in your leg or stay in scorpion. Now bend the leg again, come back to your scorpion position. Arms are by the side. Place your top leg back on top of your bottom leg. Lift your left arm up and rotate to your right side. Palms are facing each other. Now with your left hand, hold on to your top leg, stretch your quad to the back and form a 90 degree angle with your bottom leg. If you feel pressure in your knee, don't move your top leg back as far. Now extend the bottom leg to deepen your quad stretch. Bend the bottom leg again. Release your top leg and place it on top of your bottom leg. Palms are facing each other. Rotate to the side again. Palms are facing down. Lift the knees up 
come through center and place your feet back down on the mat. Let's repeat on the other side. Carefully lower your knees to the left. Both of your shoulder blades are still connected to the mat. Move the top leg forward, keeping the knee slightly bent and come into scorpion. Stay here for a little bit. Bend the elbow of your left arm and place your hand underneath your ankle. Extend your leg and stretch your outer hamstring and calf. Bend your knee again and extend your knee. Keep your shoulder blades connected to the mat. If this is too hard, keep a bend in your top leg. Come back to scorpion, palms are on the floor And now let your top leg meet your bottom leg. Lift your right arm up and rotate to your left side. Palms are facing each other. Hold on to the ankle of your top leg, stretch your quad and form a 90 degree angle with your bottom leg. Extend your bottom leg and get into a deeper stretch. Stay here. Now bend your bottom leg again, release your ankle and let your top leg meet your bottom leg. Rotate back to the center, palms are facing down. And now rotate your legs back to center and place your feet back on the mat. Lift your right leg off the mat and extend it up. Flex your foot, externally rotate your leg and now place your right ankle on your left thigh and come into a figure four stretch. Stay here and stretch your glutes. Keep your low back long and press it into the mat. Your bottom is still on the mat. Lower your left foot back down to the mat. Extend your arms to the side. Extend your right leg up. Come back to parallel, point your foot and lower your foot back down to the mat. Let's repeat on the other side. Lift your left leg off the mat and extend it up. Flex your foot, externally rotate your leg. And now place your left ankle on your right thigh and come into a figure four stretch. Stretch your glutes. Keep your back long. Lower your right foot back down to the mat. Extend your arms to the side. Extend your left leg up. Come back to parallel. Point your foot and lower your foot back down to the mat. Place your arms next to your torso and let's work on leg extensions. Lift your right leg off the mat, form a 90 degree angle and place your hands on your chin. Hug your leg into your chest, maintaining length in your low back. Release your leg and extend your left leg on the mat. Now hug your leg into your chest again. Keep your torso long. Stretch your hip flexor. Release your right leg and bend your left leg. Place your hands around your thigh. Move your right thigh close to your torso. Now extend the right leg up and anchor your right bottom into the mat. Stretch your hamstring. 
Bend your right leg and extend your left leg on the mat. Let your knee come closer to your chest. Now extend your leg up again and stretch your hamstring. Your entire back is connected with the mat. Your neck is long. Bend your right knee and bend your left knee. Now externally rotate your right leg. Your knee points towards your right shoulder. Now extend your right leg up. Your elbows are by your waist and your torso is straight. Now bend your right knee. Extend your left leg. Hug your knee closer towards your shoulder. And now extend the right leg again. Your right leg is pointing like an arrow toward the diagonal. Bend your right knee again, place your hand on your heel and extend your left arm to the side. Now extend your leg one more time, open your hip. If this is too hard, keep your knee bent. You should feel the stretch in your upper hamstring and groin area. Come back to center and wrap your hands around your thigh. Bend your left knee and place your right foot on the mat. Let's repeat on the other side. Lift your left leg off the mat, form a 90 degree angle and place your hands on your chin. Hug your leg into your chest. Keep your lower back long. Release your leg and extend your right leg on the mat. Hug your leg into your chest again. Stretch your hip flexor. Release your left leg and bend your right leg. Place your hands around your thigh. Move your thigh close to your torso and extend the left leg up. Anchor your left hip into the mat. Stretch your hamstring. Bend the left leg and extend the right leg on the mat. Now let your knee come closer to your chest. Extend your left leg up. Keep your hips level. Bend your left knee and then bend your right knee. Now externally rotate your left leg. Point your knee towards your left shoulder. Now extend the left leg up towards the diagonal. Anchor your right hip into the mat as your left leg rotates externally. Bend the knee again and extend your right leg on the mat. Extend your left leg, keep your hips level. Bend your left knee again, extend your right arm to the side, place your left hand on your heel. Extend your leg one last time. Open the hip. Keep your knee bent if you're not ready for a full extension. Bend your knee again and come back to center. Wrap your hands around your thigh. Bend your right knee and place your left foot on the mat. Extend your arms to the side. Open your legs into a butterfly position, feet together. Stretch your inner thighs. Now place your hands on your hips and wiggle more length into your torso. Place your hands on the inside of your thighs. Point your feet and lift the heels off the mat. Let your hips open. Lift the feet off the mat. Keep your hips tucked and your torso long. Your entire back is pressing into the mat. And now slowly extend into a straddle split. This stretch stretches your inner thighs. Keep your legs as straight as possible. Bend your knees again, tuck 
tuck your pelvis and extend into a straddle split. Bend your knees again and one last time extend into a straddle split. Bend your knees, come into parallel and lower your feet back down to the mat. Hug your knees, hold on to your ankles and roll up. Turn your body around and lie down on your belly, hands right underneath your shoulders. Gently press your pelvis into the mat. Put pressure into your hands and press up into a back extension. Now slowly lower back down, one vertebrae at a time, and press back up. Now slowly lower back down to the mat. Place your hands on your shoulders, elbows pointing to the side. Lift your elbows, lift your chest off the mat and extend your arms behind you, palms facing away from the body. Place your hands on your shoulders again and lower your chest back down to the mat. Lift your elbows, imagine you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Lift your chest and extend your arms behind you. Hands are back on your shoulders, lower your chest. Now lift the elbows again and lift your chest off the mat. Extend the arms behind you and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Place your hands back on your shoulders, lower your chest to the mat. Push back into child's pose. Stretch your back. Come to all fours. Tuck your toes under and push back into down dog. Stretch your calves and hamstrings one last time. Stay here for a little bit. Now walk your hands back, release your knees, let your torso meet your thighs and extend your legs. Roll up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Now let's circle the arms overhead. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, release. One more time, circle up and release. Practice often and you will see your flexibility and range of motion increase.